Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. This is Ms. Alfen and we are about to learn how to add, how to subtract and how to convert capacities. First, let's learn how to convert capacities. So, what does it mean to convert? To convert means to change. Now, in our previous class, I told you that capacity has different units. We have the liter, which is a standard unit, and then for smaller capacities, we have the centiliter and the milliliter, which is the smallest unit for measuring capacity. So today, we are going to convert from one unit to the other. Okay, first things first, before we convert, we need to know the conversion key. What do I mean by the conversion key? How many of one unit is going to give you another unit? And with that, you can convert between units. So let's start with 10 milliliters give us one centiliter. 100 centiliters gives us one liter, while 1000 milliliters gives us one liter. Now, these are the three things we are going to be using in converting from one capacity to the other. But just in case you forget this, there is something else that is going to help you to remember it and it is the converting metric capacities or the conversion key. Alright, let's see how it looks like. It has the liter, the centiliter and the milliliter this way. It has liter, centiliter and milliliter and then it has arrows or arcs pointing from the liter to the centiliter and from the centiliter to the milliliter and then pointing back this way. Of course, I'm going to add my own arc going directly from here. Yeah. Okay, it is not going to complicate everything. Okay, so let's make it a little larger. Okay, so if you are changing from liter to centiliter, you divide by 100. If you are changing from centiliter to milliliter, oh, I'm sorry, you multiply by 100. If you are changing from centiliter to milliliter, you multiply by 10. Okay, which is why one centiliter will give you 10 milliliters. If you are changing from milliliter back to centiliter, you do the opposite of this. You divide by 10. While if you are changing from centiliter back to liter, you do the opposite of this. You divide by 100. And then finally, if you are changing from milliliter to liter, you divide by 1000. Okay? Alright, now let's see if we can use this to solve some problems, okay? Now, I'm going to give you some capacities in milliliters, some capacities in liters, and some capacities in centiliters, and we are going to try to convert between them, okay? I'm just going to quickly grab my phone. Okay, so here we have, on this side of the table, we are going to draw a table. On this side of the table, we are going to have capacity, in milliliters, okay, on this column we are going to have capacity in liters, and on the third column we are going to have capacity in centi Let's see. Alright, let's start with capacity in milliliters. We have 
1000 milliliters okay and then for liters we have two liters and then for capacity in centimeters we have 250 centimeters all right and let's start from the beginning again here we have 5000 milliliters okay and then for capacity in liters we have 10 liters and then for capacity in centimeters we have 2500 centimeters now let's see if we can feel let's see if we can feel the empty spaces with the equivalent capacities okay so 1000 milliliters will give us what in liters changing from milliliters to liters what do we do we divide by 1000 which simply means what we take away two zeros or three zeros from the number so taking away three zeros from here we'll be left with one so this is going to give us one liter okay and then changing one liter to centimeter what do we do liter to centimeter is what liter to centimeter is multiplied by what 100 multiplied by 100 so this is going to be 100 centimeters fun right okay now we are changing from liters to milliliters and from liters to centimeters let's see if we can do that liters to milliliters what do we do we multiply by a thousand or we attach three zeros to the end so it's going to be what there's a two here and then one two three zeros milliliters all right how about liters to centimeters what do we do we attach two zeros or we multiply by what 100. So this is going to be 200 centiliters. Now we have 250 centiliters. How do we change it to liter? Okay, now change it from centimeters to liters, we have to divide by 100. Okay, or we take away two zeros. Now if you take away one zero from 250, we left with 25, but there's no other zero to take away. So what do we do? We simply introduce a decimal point. So this is going to give us two. 0.5 liters okay and then changing from 2.5 liters to milliliters what do we do we introduce three zeros now we can't introduce a zero when there's a decimal point here so the first zero is going to take away the decimal point and we are going to be left with two zeros so our answer is going to be 2500 milliliters okay now can we do this Okay, milliliter to liter, three zeros off. So what do we have? We have five liters. Okay, liter to centimeters, two zeros in. 500 centimeters. Good. Now, liters to centimeters, two zeros in. So 1,000 centimeters. Liters to milliliters, three zeros. Three zeros with the initial one zero is going to give us how many zeros? Four zeros. That's 10,000. 10,000 milliliters. Okay, and then here we have 2,500 centiliters. Centiliters to liters, what do we do? We take away two zeros. That'll give us what? 25 liters. And then liters to milliliters, what do we do? Three zeros added to it is going to give us what? 25 thousand milliliters okay now we are going to move to the second part of the lecture and i'm going to see you there welcome to the second part of this video and in the second part we are going to be learning how to add and subtract capacities now one thing you have to remember is that capacities are very similar to the way we add and subtract money okay when we're adding and subtracting money we know that we have naira's column and we have kobo's column okay when you add and have more than 100 kobo that's when you move to the naira's column and when you are subtracting and you don't have enough to subtract from in the kobo's column you go to the naira's column it's the same thing we do for capacity okay the liter has its column while the centiliter also has it column okay now in the first example we have add three liters 25 centiliters and two liters 85 centiliters okay so first of all you set out 
your meters column and then your centi meters column. Okay, so we have three meters twenty five centimeters plus two liters eighty five centimeters. Okay. Now five plus five is ten. Write down zero and take one. Um, one plus two is three. Three plus eight is eleven. You write down one and take one. One plus three is four. Four plus two is six. Our answer is six liters. Six liters ten centimeters. Easy. All right. Next we have subtract 6 liters 45 centimeters from 9 liters 25 centimeters. Now what do we say about subtraction? The number that follows the word from always comes first. Okay, so again we set out our liter column and centimeter column. We have liter, we have centimeter. Okay, so what's the first thing we write? Yes, 9 liters and 25 centimeters. So 9 25 What's the next thing we write? Um, minus 6 liters 45 centimeters Okay, now 5 minus 5 is 0 Now 2 minus 4 is not possible You can't take 4 from 2 So you move to the next place value And take 1 from 9 And it's going to be left with 8 Now the 1 crosses over and becomes 10 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. And the remaining 8 here minus 6 is 2. So our answer is 2 liters 80 centimeters. And we have to come to the end of this class and this topic. Thank you very much for paying attention and staying with me to the end of the video. See you in the Zoom classroom and in the Moodle classroom. Have a nice day. Bye.